So being in the party rental business as I am, specifically the tent rental business, uh, people come in, sometimes they wanna see a tent. Well, they can't see a tent because uh, you know, we don't have tents set up. Mind you, I have seen some of our competitor businesses. They have huge parking lots like this, but they're their own in their buildings and they sometimes have a tent set up. However, that's not uh, doable for everyone. So what we do is we do 3D tent designs for people. There are some fantastic programs out there. I started out using PartyCAD and then I evolved over to this program called Mary uh, for 3D tent designs. However, um, you know, it, oftentimes you'll make a design for someone for a tent and then the thing that they end up booking is completely different. Uh, so I've made this strategy up for advertising uh, to make these 3D tent designs for people. The first thing that you want to do is get good on this program. So uh, if off season's coming up and you're planning to do this for next year, start working on it. Start making designs, start doing layouts. So I made a layout for each style of tent, each pole tent with different styles of pole tent lighting. Here's 40 by 40 lighting. There, so there's 40 by 60, 40 by 80 and so forth. And then you can view it top down. We can tilt the view. Go 3D, bam. Or some screenshots. So say it's like, ooh, we wanna showcase that. Not that that looks really good. Right there, screenshot, open. Right there, there's our photo. Uh, marquee tends to throw some stage mock-ups together. You can also use these mock-ups so that you can make stock photos on your website for things that you haven't quite done yet, but you want to show customers what, what they could look like. I've got uh, stage mock-ups for every different size, so like an 8x8 stage, uh, uh, you know, 12 by 12 stage, blah, 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 and it goes on. But to really make this come alive and make your business seem more pronounced, uh, you need to show something side by side, which shows, uh, you know, which shows a design and then it also shows right side by side what it would look like as the real thing. So it's like, holy crap, these guys are actually really good at designing. So what I did in the off season was I got good at designing and then I uh, took tents that I had previously set up and I just duplicated the design I, from my videos, right? So I uh, just mimicked all the pieces and then I put them side by side in a video and then I marked it as we're design experts because how are we not design experts if we've taken something that we've already created and recreated the design? So it's almost like reverse engineering our previous work so that uh, customers can uh, get it flipped around for the time that they're booking with us. So next year uh, or this year or whatever year you're doing. Uh, so when customers come in, they can request uh, 3D designs and you'll be able to make mock-ups for them because they trust your work from uh, you showing them what you've previously done. Make sure and advertise that you can do this on your website. This is how I've uh, advertised on my website that I can make 3D designs for clients. Now this is inside our dashboard. You can see all sorts of events that we've made, you know, catering tents. Uh, some of these are designs for clients and some of them are designs we've made just for inspiration for our website or to show them how lighting is or uh, whatever, right? You know, see what we've got here. We've got head table designs, catering tents, red carpet packages that I've made. So let's just go into the red carpet packages. Okay, so right here, this is red carpet packages that we've made uh, because we needed photos of it. And I didn't feel like using other people's photos and there wasn't good stock photos. So why not have something 3D designed? So this is a walkthrough right here. Okay, so you see this, there's pipe and drape around. I just made uh, like a simple little mock up there for, uh, we can send this link to the client and they can actually view it and go, oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's exactly what we're looking for. So I've got little mock ups of red carpet that I've made. Uh, you can screenshot this, you can send them the link so that they can do the 3D walkthrough like this. There's all sorts of cool different options. Took this image of this red carpet here and I took some screenshots of it and I made a landing page for my website, Red Carpet Rental Saskatoon. Uh, finds it on Google real quick. So this is our page right there, Red Carpet Rental Saskatoon popped up even before the three pack. And you can see it's just my 3D design. A picture there shows a video in my old shop of me doing it. And then people can rent the red carpet. And so there's packages um, and then there's forms and that's it. 
So that's one way to use it. You can make the designs of the stuff and then you can make landing pages, list products uh, using the pictures of the 3D designs. You can do mock-ups for clients, uh, all sorts of stuff. Here's one right there, Megan. So we click into hers. So with Megan's event here, we actually quoted it before uh, we were into Mary. So we didn't have a 3D design for her and it looked so great. She had a lot of elements that uh, we didn't bring in and it looked so great in there that uh, we videoed around the whole place up and down day and night. I really took the time to uh, go there even afterwards after some of the things were set up so that I could get uh, the videos that I needed so that I could recreate it so that I could make an advertising video uh, So this was before and then I made this mock video afterwards uh, So that I could make some sort of advertising way to show our 3d design potential So all in all, if you're looking for 3D design software, I use Mary, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, it elevates the way that I can capture customers. It makes us look more professional on our website. Uh, it's just another tool. And moving towards the digital age, 3D design uh, concepts are more openly accepted. And even though I'm using some of them for stock photos on my website, it's okay because I have them sprinkled in among uh, other real photos of things and I'm a trusted company. So for me to have a 3D design doesn't mean that I can't deliver and people will understand that, you know, if you have a mixture of both on your website. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, we'll see you on the next one. As always, you stay classy.